now let's compress the file so let's make a separate uh, method for that void compress image okay so here we'll pass string path of file okay and we will use luben dot compress file okay so here we will pass context and after that file here we will pass path okay now now dot set uh, maximum size we can set its size like a uh, 50 kb or something like that whatever we want okay and uh, we can set its height width also but leave it for now launch okay inside launch method new and compress listener okay so here on success on success what we have to do we have to convert image into bitmap 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 factory dot decode file right so here what we have to do file dot get absolute path okay byte array of string new byte array output stream okay now bitmap dot compress bitmap dot compress format dot jpg its quality and its uh, byte array output stream okay now create a byte array byte okay byte array here we will use byte output stream dot to byte array okay now after that encode image string encode image string okay encode image using base 64 so we are converting image into string Encode Encode Base sixty four dot encode to string. Okay, and here we will pass our byte byte string okay change its name byte array okay copy and paste here base 64 dot default 
right now the last thing is we have to call it here and we'll pass path and we'll call it here so uh, now the file path of file size is decreased and we will be able to file to firebase easily okay so that's it that's how we can uh, reduce uh, size of any image okay size of any file so let's check it now get file from uh, file manager and you can set Oh, you have to pass here file. Now run it again. So we have to pass this encoded image array, uh, encoded image string into five is. So that's why we have created uh, this variable. So click here. Click crop. So it's I know it's very complicated that uh, we have used image cropper library here, but also it's also very beneficial. We don't need to implement camera get photos separately, separately, right? One thing we can crop, we can crop that, we can crop that, okay? We can crop it. So there are many uses and many functionalities uh, of image cropper library and also it support um, maximum number of devices. Okay, so, like uh, if we have created code for a camera gallery separately, then it mean, means it can uh, it can crash of some of devices. So it. This library automatically handle all the crashes. So that's why we use it.